This is my friend, the insanely lovely Marika Thomas. She's an acupuncturist, and let me tell you something, I've never done acupuncture before ever. This is now my third time, and I love it. This is another way you can relax. Why am I shouting? I don't know. I mean, she brings this whole setup and she's mobile. You don't have to go to some nasty office. You just go, she comes right, she comes right to you with this bed. Look at this bed. So I'm gonna get into this bed now. And uh, you have the warming feature on the bed? I do, do you want it off? No, I want it this okay. time. Oh, All right. God. My hideous, awful Fred Flintstone feet. Poor Marika. She doesn't need to look at those. These are Max's needles. They belong to Max, they are his needles. No one else will claim these needles, just Max. Wow. They're very special needles. They're wine-tipped needles. <laughs> so I have to somehow associate wine with this post. Now Max, how are you feeling about having this done? Well, it hurts a little bit sometimes, because uh, I'm a real pussy when it comes to pain. But I wind up really enjoying it, so... And I have not done the warming feature on the bed yet, and it's already chilling me out. This is the first needle. Okay, hang on. This is very, very exciting. <laughs> now, Marika. Yes? Do you... You like those Hellraiser movies, Pinhead? <laughs> did I ask you that? Favorite, but yeah, you did ask me that before. Because they're all on Netflix, the Pinhead movies. Yes. Do you like horror films? Uh, not too gory. You know, I kind of like psychological thrillers a little bit more. Like ghost stories and stuff? Yeah, I like that type of stuff. Oh, Marika. <laughs> How is it that you have this power to just make me chill out right away? Is it because of the acupuncture? Uh, I just like to think it's like my effervescent personality. Yeah. <laughs> How, how did you get that? Needles yeah. And, uh, it's a combination. Yeah, I, is it a good idea to have a glass of wine before you do acupuncture, or is it better to have it afterward? Uh, you, you can have it afterwards. Okay. <laughs> now, you're a Belvedere vodka girl. You're not really, yeah. you like your wine, but not, not a lot. Yeah. I've actually partied with Marika, and she's really fun to party with. <laughs> she was here on my birthday. I'm like, why am I inviting Marika to my birthday? Because I want her there. We had fun, didn't we? We had fun, definitely. Now, have you had a dude on your table who is just repulsive? <laughs> and you've had to just grin and bear it? See, ooh, see this is, the feet are a little sensitive. Yes. But she does such a good job that you barely notice it. What's so great is she just rolls all her stuff in, and then does all this and then leaves. She does not stick around. <laughs> I thought you enjoyed my company. I do. <laughs> but you're like, out of here. I don't blame you. Oh. Ooh. I just want to give you guys an idea of how cool this practice is. Because this is a almost 3,000 year old practice, isn't it? Yes. Ancient Chinese practice. The Chinese really know what's going on, don't they? Yeah, I feel that one in my groin area. Okay. Has anyone ever busted wind on your table? Oh yeah, that happens all the time. I can't really do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I'm stuck in a room with them. Oh, yeah, so you're really. just stuck in the <laughs> just stuck in gaseous time. cloud Maybe that they've the emitted room. for you. Yeah. Ugh. Do you think people are gross? Do I think people are gross? No, if I, were, if I thought people were gross, I probably wouldn't be doing this. You wouldn't this. be doing this. I would not be doing this. I hope I don't have any ear hair. You're okay. I forgot to trim up today for you guys. Usually, if women are coming over, I try to really clean up stuff like ear hair, nose hair, uh, anything else that would offend them. All of a sudden, I'm craving stovetop stuffing. It's so weird. Breathe deep. Yes. Relax. Ready? Yes. It's all going to be fine. Marika Thomas is here to make you feel better. 
out. The last time I did this, I cried. Marika, have you ever seen Rocky Balboa? Yes. I see my tongue, yeah, Marika. Stick it out as much as you can. Mm. Is it gross? No, it's not gross. But <laughs> so I've got like a dead man's tongue. No, you don't. Dead man's tongue is totally different. Okay. Totally different. Yeah. Get some acupuncture, people. <laughs> Treat yourselves. All right, don't make me laugh. I have needles in my face. <laughs> 